hi now let's understand here how a space vector pulse width modulation for three phase induction motors are achieved it's a complete working circuit with all the parameters in this displayed here this uses a microcontroller as usual we have a microcontroller which is uh, 89c52 89s52 and then we are using the port 0 port 0 for the purpose of getting the output uh, the pulse width modulated output and uh, we, this is for R it is complementary of R then this is Y this is complementary of Y this is B and this is complementary of B so these uh, six connections are given to uh, usually these six connections could have directly given to the <coughs> driving circuit but uh, what we have done we have tried to incorporate some opto isolation which is much better we have tried to incorpor incorporate some opto isolation between the microcontroller and the drive circuit it is for uh, better isolation purposes and this is how each uh, circuit is as, uh, is isolated by the opto isolator one section we can see one section that one section is now say for example uh, this opto isolator and this section okay right sorry let's see this uh, Okay. Right. Now these are the uh, PWM pulses which are coming. As I said, this is the pulse and this is the uh, the complementary or the inverted pulse of that. And then this is uh, given to an uh, optical isolation and then we use a, mot a, driving, a driver IC which has got for arrangements for driving both upper limbs and lower limbs of any uh, bridge, in a, any full bridge. This is a uh, three phase full bridge and uh, where the upper bridge uh, will be driven by this and lower will be driven by this. Uh, details about this particular uh, IC uh, driving IC um, IR2101 uh, has been given separately in some audios and you can uh, know about that function now the uh, as far as the functioning a little bit of functioning we can get explained here uh, this is the bootstrap capacitor and uh, this is the separate uh, 16 volt because we need about 16 volt uh, for the driving the IGBTs which will be subsequently driving the circuits out of this and uh, uh, we get the supply and then this is the bootstrap capacitor that means this uh, gets charged only when the circuit comes into operation and then the upper transistors or the upper uh, devices are triggered accordingly drawing power from this source <laughs> okay now this is what the full circuit is uh, this is for uh, r y uh, r uh, y sorry r this is uh, okay so we we got uh, for each uh, this is got r y b and this is uh, the complementary of that is this complementary of that is this and complementary of that is this so this is how they are being fed and then uh, this is con uh, connected to the uh, driver ic and then once we simulate this and uh, standard connection some microcontroller have been as i said has been eliminated for the purpose of understanding it all the numberings have been given so that the connections go to that particular number now when we simulate this what we find is we'll see the uh, waveform of different uh, okay fine right this is the output this is the output let me increase the uh, voltage a little so that we can see it better okay now these are the outputs these are the outputs of now if i freeze it but we can see uh, they are all uh, 
pulse width modulated uh, as per the sine wave and that's how we can see the width is varying and this is how it goes on and it goes on increasing like this and then falling like this here again goes on like this and falling like this here again goes on like this and falling like this and that is how and they have been so written that they are 120 degree apart um, uh, as required for a three phase requirement right so this is how the uh, waveform as far as the microcontroller output is concerned this you can see this gives about uh, about uh, 2 plus 2 4 about 4 uh, 4 4 and a half voltage from the microcontroller and the other uh, one which is connected for the uh, this is uh, about uh, about 8 volt or so uh, which is coming from the um, at the input of the uh, driver IC and uh, finally the uh, output will be seen in the next now when you go over to the next one the next circuit the next circuit is uh, this is our next circuit which is the power driving circuit let's see one particular section and if we look at one section we'll find that these are the two IGPTs and we got uh, the driving is coming a uh, drive is coming from here this is RT and RB and uh, this to this they are all complementary as we said if this is high this will be low and if this is low this is high so that at a time both of them never conduct but this is my positive line and this is our negative line right these are the arrangements which are made for the driving circuit uh, because at the time of uh, um, this go to high the power f uh, the voltage is applied across the gate uh, and the emitter this way and uh, which is limited by a general diode so that the ex any extra voltage will be clamped and when this goes low this charge which is there inside this IGBT is quickly discharged by this diode and take care that this diode has to be a high speed diode like for example you can use a 4148 diode here IN 4148 <laughs> So that is uh, this is how the driving circuit uh, it gets the driving from this uh, circuit and then finally when we see its output and we see its output right now you can see the waveform which is uh, equivalent to sine wave because these are all uh, pulse width uh, modulated so you get waveform like this and but actually when it is fed to an inductive circuit because the natural uh, filtering takes place and this is how this peak is here this peak is here and you find the other peak is here and that is how r y b are delayed by 120 degrees and if you could look at the, um, the other arrangement that we have made we have connected three transformers here you know to uh, get the simulated output at r y b and that is how you see at the cro uh, in this fashion and uh, the circuit also has provision for some overcurrent uh, protection apart from this this particular section is overcurrent protection in the in this we have connected for the purpose of simplicity the ground here actually the ground will not be given here as far as the power ground is concerned and uh, we have the ground here so the current flows all the entire current flows through this resistor this resistor the voltage drop across this resistor is compared against a comparator and uh, the output is uh, given for that pulse by pulse uh, checking so that if in the event of any extra current flowing this will give a shutdown command to the controller so that the output gets completely disconnected so this is what is a space vector pulse width modulation with a program written in C language controlled by a microcontroller Thank you.